hi me wizard yo what's up guys um today's video is going to be cut a little short mainly because i'm trying to save some time to upload a pvp video so uh yeah but today we're just going to talk about food buffs and elixirs because a lot of you guys have actually been requesting this now what i'm going to tell you is nothing secret but you know there's a there's a guild called black rose they just happen to have some uh, secretive elixir and food buffing cheat, but it's really not a secret. A lot of people know it. They pretend like it's a secret, but it's not. But what I can say is that a lot of PvP guilds do underestimate how much buffs can make a difference in PvP and in PvE. So, um, I like to say if you're not fully buffed, or you're not playing the game efficiently. Because you're pretty much investing to grind quicker and make more EXP make all the money back all right so first let's go ahead and talk about food buffs so as you can see i made a little chart for cron meal and just food buffs in general now this is the uh food food ro okay now this is the food rotation that i prefer to use this is cron meal so you can see it's plus 8 ap accuracy plus 15 plus 2 move plus 2 crit plus 15 evasion um 150 hp 4 percent resistance to ignore all and uh, the thing why I don't personally like Ron Meal is because you can't stack other buffs with it. And with four food buffs, I can technically fit more damage. And BDO is pretty much a damage based yeah. game. So you can see here I have plus 5 AP, plus 10 accuracy, plus 1 crit, DR plus 5, HP plus 5, plus 5, um, nullify resistance against against all and this is resist against debuff four percent evasion plus 10 minus six percent damage from all monsters plus 150 hp plus 200 stamina now plus 200 stamina right now is pretty crucial in my opinion at least for some classes and then five percent back attack damage which is good for the classes that i play now you don't have to use these food buffs there's other food buffs you can use I would pretty much choose a few that are going to fit you. So we can go ahead and just go over all the food buffs really quick. So uh, this is a simple cron. This is for PvE. This is the exquisite cron meal, which is okay. Um, this is the Calfian one. It's pretty good. 100 HP plus 5 DR, HP plus 5. I like to use this for the DR, which is so I like it personally. Don't sleep on that DR, it's actually really good. All right, and then we have the Medaya meal. I do not recommend this one for PVP at all. Just, it's not that good. Please don't get that meal. Um, Balanos meal, which is for gathering. You should definitely use this if you're a life skiller. I pop this all the time when I'm gathering. Margoria seafood meal. Um, weight limit plus 50 LT. Movement speed plus two. Credit rate plus two. Max HP plus 100. This is actually a pretty popular meal and can be used depending on your crystal setup. We have the special Serendia meal, plus 5 AP, all accuracy plus 10, crit hit rate plus 1, pretty decent meal. Spicy Teff, which is usually used for cooking if you're cooking. Golden Butter Roasted Lobster, nah. And then we have the Night Combat Rations. Now, one thing to note, and I want to prevent you guys from doing, Never stack night combat rations and special Serendia in the same food rotation because the plus 5 AP stack over each other and it's not that good. Also, um, yeah, it's, that's just the main reason why I wouldn't really consider using the special over that. So yeah. And then we have some orange versions. Premium Hand Sandwich is a pretty popular one for the accuracy. Another good one is King of Jungle Hamburg. It's good for a few classes. It's got a plus 5% critical hit damage, and then it ignores um, all resistance, so it's a pretty popular one. The critical hit damage is actually pretty huge. And then another meal I like is the Kama Sylvia one. It gives uh, plus 150 HP, max stamina plus 200, and back attack damage plus 5%. Now, if you guys are sieging, I highly recommend you stack four food buffs and even at Node Wars. There are so many guilds that I can name off the top of my head that probably lose because they don't food buff. It's actually a huge difference. Alright, so that was food buffs. Now we can talk about elixirs. Now when you make elixirs, you 
almost always want to have the party version so that means you have to have three greens combined with one blue reagent to make one blue and then with that blue you have to take two blues with one tier from the material vendor and then you can make a party elixir party elixirs last longer they last for about 10 minutes and they can be used really quickly as well. All right, so as you can see, we have the Elixir of Fury, which is not the blue version. The blue version is better. Uh, Fear Stemmy Human Hunting Elixir. This is actually a good elixir. I use this at Centaurs, um, Aukman. It's good at um, Fogans. It's good at Nagas. It's good for gatekeepers. This is a pretty popular elixir. And I highly recommend it. Elixir of Human Hunt. Again, it's a good elixir if you make it into blue. It's just as, just as good as the Human Hunting. And then Elixir of Fury is a good one. Elixir of Shock is for crit rate. I don't think you should be using that. If you have your crystal set up properly with food buffs, you will almost never need Elixir of Shock. Um, elixir of Carnage is huge. I mean, you're getting a 10% damage like modifier. It's really good really really good and you should have this for siege or for an war concentration also gives you accuracy definitely have this when it comes to elixirs you want to have as many elixirs as possible when it comes to pvp especially when it matters elixir of frenzy it kind of takes away your dp i don't like that one now pretty good elixir that's pretty balanced is um giant's draught which is plus 10 ap max hp plus 150 all special attack extra damage plus 10 percent that's what makes this draught so good what it is is that if you have a knockdown kd float down smash those skills will get modified by extra 10 percent damage this is a pretty good elixir especially if your class is really cc heavy perfume of courage perfume of courage is currently broken we know for a fact that the plus 20 AP doesn't work. There's been numerous tests. Normally, if you ever pop a Perfume of Courage, you're using it for the plus 200 HP, which is a pretty significant buff. Elixir of Deep Sea is another good one. It's mainly good for the air attack, town attack, and back attack damage. I mean, if you could imagine, if you hit all three of those modifiers at the same time, we're talking nasty damage. And then lastly are these really cheap elixirs. Um, we have an accuracy enhancer, a melee AP enhancer, ranged AP enhancer, and magic AP enhancer. Now the accuracy enhancers are really rare, but if you can find them, you need to snag this. The accuracy enhancers are super good if you can get them. Now if you're a melee class, you want to always have melee enhancers. It's melee AP plus 3. Every buff counts when it comes to a node war or siege. You want to be pop Range AP if you're a range damage, so like ranger. And then magic AP if you're a DK, wizard, witch. You have magic AP, so you want to be getting that. That would be it for the offensive elixirs. The Calx elixir. This one is really good for the mobility classes. You get some DR, you get to debuff some resistance, but the plus 5% movement speed, if you can imagine, that's really good on like a Mystic, Striker, or like Musa, Mewa. This elixir is like almost best in slot for those classes. Uh, the party defense, if you can make them into blues, they become a uh, steel defense. I think it's about plus 10 DP, super good. Elixir of Will is pretty much used in uh, PvE, it reduces damage against monsters, so typically people use them against uh, Giffins and Gatekeepers. Yeah, to be honest, the only ones I usually typically use is just the Will and um, the, the Steel Defense. Another good defensive one would be Elixir of Life or the extra HP. Definitely something to consider. Magic Damage Reducer, again, you want to have all of these actually. Magic damage reducer, range damage reducer, and melee damage reducer. You want to have all three. Grapple resistance enhancer can actually save your neck sometimes, but it's super hard to get, so it's not really reliable. But if you get, if you see it, get it. And then for a siege, I mean all of these uh, cure burns, cure bleeding, antidote elixir. These, these are gonna be pretty key in some situations. And then the good ones is uh, tough whale tendons, whale tendon elixir. You can actually snipe these out the market when they come up. I mean, you're getting 125 DR for about 30 seconds. It's almost like having a PA. So sometimes if you get KD, you can pop this thing and it can save you sometimes. So uh, whale tendons, 
you need these they're really good and yeah those are pretty much the only good elixirs now a lot of you might be asking about the elixir of thorn this got taken out of the game but it was a super op elixir but it's gone now but yeah those are all the defensive elixirs you pretty much want to worry about so as you guys can see when it comes to buffing and bdo it actually can make a huge difference so next time you take a guild out for a node war make sure your guys are fully buffed and you get everything when it comes to food buffs, you want to stack 4 or that crown meal if you're lazy. When it comes to elixirs, you want to have as many as possible. Those elixirs will literally change everything for you. Trust me. But yeah guys, that's it for the video. I'm going to be working on a 1v1 compilation for tomorrow on the Mystic. I'm just trying to keep the daily uploads going. It's been pretty fun. And... I will be streaming on Twitch later tonight, so make sure you guys come hang out. Uh, last night was pretty, it was a pretty good stream. We had a lot of fun. We played some random game last night, and it was honestly hilarious. So, uh, yeah, I'll be grinding on video later today on stream if you guys want to come hang out. Other than that, that is it for the video. Um, make sure you guys join our community Discord and all. And that's really it. Alright guys, peace.